even though it, Stephen King's it, was basically the only one that sent chippers down my spine. <laughs> he is not my favorite antagonist. No. He's scary, but he's not my favorite. My favorite antagonist is not supernatural. He's not a monster, like per se. <laughs> he's a human being, a mortal. And that man's name is Thomas. Shit, what the fuck? His full name. Thomas Hewitt. Thomas Hewitt. That's my favorite antagonist of all time. Better than Freddy. Better than Jason. Michael Myers. All those guys are supernatural. Thomas Hewitt. Just human as you and me. Very strong. Very tough. Oh! In case you ain't figured it out yet. Leatherface. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's Thomas's other name that's widely alone. No. That's who Thomas Hewitt is. Thomas Hewitt was born to a woman who worked in a meat factory in the 30s. Now, I assume that nobody knew she was pregnant. She's probably a fucking, I, I assume she was like a Catholic or some shit, you know. She probably gotten pregnant, but she couldn't tell her family about it. She probably didn't know how she's going to tell him. And she had him prematurely while she was cutting meat. And he was born deformed, you know. Now, I theorized that his father was her brother or, or some a close relative in a family that raped her. Or maybe they came on to her and they, made, they got her pregnant, you know. That's why he was born kind of deformed and shit. That's just my theory. Don't take it as gospel, please. So, and he later became, he was raised by the Hewitt family. And he was named Tommy. And he became Leatherface. To me, Thomas Hewitt is by far the most interesting antagonist. I mean, he's very scary. He's scary in the fact that he's human being, you know. And knowing that he that 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 that, that, that he's believable and human beings are capable of doing what he's doing what he's done is very frightening. Cause at the end of the day, it, Stephen King's it is supernatural. I can easily dismiss him as not being real. But even though Thomas Hewitt is also a fictional character, yes. He's a fictional character. Chainsaw Massacre never really happened. It was based off some serial killer. Forgot his name, can't think of it right now, but he's not the subject. This fictional character, it's hard for me to dismiss him as being fictional because, like I said, he's a human being. That's what makes him unique. And he also runs very fast. He's big, he's strong, he's tough. And he's very fast on his feet. So if you think you can outrun Leatherface, you got another thing coming. He's going to be right behind you. And that loud ass chainsaw is signaling your death. That's some scary shit. Considering that this man was raised up in a fucked up family in the first place, you know. See, see young Thomas. He felt like an outcast in school, you know. He felt he's he spent most of his time alone in the basement, injuring himself, fucking with his face and shit. He hated his look. He hated his appearance, you know. Uh I and, and it's it's interesting because even even though I like to know what motivates a character to do what they do, I gotta make an exception with Thomas because the fact that you don't know his real motivation is why he does it. That makes him more interesting, though. I never thought I would say this about a character except Thomas Hewitt. A.K.A. Leatherface. The Chainsaw Massacre. Now, 
What makes them interesting is that going further with that point I just made is that he you don't you, he has that peculiar mystery about him. What what you don't know really know what he's thinking in his head. He doesn't speak. You know, he never speaks. And people do call him a monster. He's like a fucking monster, you know. But back to my earlier point is that uh you can only guess what motivates him to do it. He can do it out of hatred of mankind because they look pretty and he doesn't. He feels like he's an outcast. Or he could be doing it because he's trying to please his family that raised him. It could be both. What motivates him to kill and chainsaw people and shit? Man got to eat just like his family did. That's why they're killing people. They're carnivores. So, that's my favorite slasher, horror antagonist, is Thomas Hewitt, a.k.a. Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface. That's why I like him above the rest. So, this is why Chromosome signing out. Peace and love.